what point do you go from just being a guy who's getting laid on film to all of a sudden like, wow, I am I'm the biggest porn star in the history of the business? The cult thing, when you know Jay Leno and different people make jokes about you on TV, rock stars put you in their albums and in their songs. Like Sublime did, Tommy Lee did. Yeah, but Ellen how did that Jay. happen? Is what you yeah, because, uh, it could have been anybody. It's from, uh, just again, from doing mainstream work, not just doing porn. You know, from doing like 12 music videos. You know, I did a rap song that was on Billboard 27 weeks. You guys know about that. You know, and th things like just that, that make you more known in the mainstream media than just doing porn. Doing the John Bobbitt movie, for example, it was huge, worldwide news. And then the Divine Brown film, we called it a Doc Hugh trauma because of Hugh Grant. So things like that. Otherwise, I would just be another you know, Peter North or Tom Byron or Andy West. It's to doing the mainstream stuff and some cult films, like, you know, the film Boondock Saints. Mm -hmm. You know, it was so huge in colleges that 20th Century Fox the movie was great five years after it was released you know I'm in that film yeah I mean a lot of people don't know it because I look a little different but mm -hmm. I, that's a huge film in Orgasmo the South Park film yeah. these are cult films in colleges right. so that's my biggest audience okay. you look at some of the quotes in my book Drew Carey Sarah Silverman there's so many comedians who've done Ron Jeremy jokes and I love them I mean Drew's is funny a bit insulting Drew Carey says uh, you know Brad Pitt I heard is in doubt that's just not fair. You should either be good looking or have a big one, not both. Look at Ron Jeremy. That's fair. And Sarah, <laughs> and Sarah Silverman used to say she has her comedy album because why does Ron Jeremy, you know, do things with his pinky in the air? Yeah. He's a classy guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And I have all the, all the, a lot, a lot of company. You made a great routine. Eddie Murphy did a routine about me doing that. And George Lopez, me kissing myself, you know, that kind of thing. In Comic Relief, you guys see the latest Comic Relief? I heard you were the subject of uh, quite a bit of... Uh... Five times they made jokes about me working on the audience. Robin Williams did it twice. Yeah. So that stuff is what makes you... And the more that happens, the more that happens. It's like the more famous you get, the more famous you get. And the more you famous you get. Right. It gives, you know it's, a, you... it's a vicious cycle that right. feeds itself. But also, I even wore a Gene Simmons, Simmons mask during my sex scene. My tongue sticking out of the mask. And I got Gene Simmons' permission in writing to use his mask. Wow, how much did that cost? Free. He's a friend of mine. Really? I was in Detroit Rock City. You know, I, you know, I was in that movie with him. So he, I've known Gene many years. He hosted the Pondros with me, Miss New North America. I've hung up with Gene in various events. Yeah. You know, what film? Oh, I dropped the name, Gene Simmons. You know, so he had a really fast, great Dennis Hopp story in the book, real quick. Yeah, you know, I, was, I, I was at the original Woodstock when I was 16 years old. I was there for half an hour because, you know, I was, I was working in the Catskills as a waiter, like all good Jewish boys. So Fred Durst invited me to introduce him at the new Woodstock many years later. And last minute, they canceled me. They were using Minnie Me instead, Vern Troyer. I was so depressed, I was going to face a quarter million kids and go, please welcome, let us. So I got canceled. And everyone thought they were going to see me on the show. So Dennis Hoff, for the next year, had all the little bunny ranch girls call me on the phone like every week saying, Ronnie, I'm real horny and I want to do you. Oh, Minnie Me's here, got to go. <laughs> oh, he'd put, whenever I did like a talk show with him at some sh uh, studio in Hollywood, he'd have my star taken down and put the name Minnie Me instead. <laughs> so I, I'd eat at a restaurant and pick up my, 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 like, my cup and saucer. Mini Me's play setting, you know, he was on my case for one full year about that. Yeah, but it paid off all the free sex he probably got you. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah.